I love to cook and bake with the seasons. Here at the farm, there's always something fresh and wonderful ready to harvest and use in the kitchen. Rhubarb is still growing at such a fast pace and I can't use it quick enough. Thankfully, it's one of my favorite things to use in desserts. And today I'm gonna make my favorite rhubarb bars. Almost like a custard rhubarb pie filling, these bars go together in a cinch and are great for a party or for a family. They freeze wonderfully and you will not be sorry you made them. To start, we're gonna make a simple crust. Two cups of flour, three quarters cup of powdered sugar, and one cup of chilled butter. I cut my butter up in small pieces just so it's easier to cut into the flour and sugar mixture. Using a pastry cutter, I'm going to cut the flour and butter and sugar together and just make nice, even, fine crumbs, kind of like a coarse cornmeal. Work the butter, sugar, and flour until you get these small, consistent crumbs. Once you've achieved small crumbs, pour this all into a 10 by 15 or jelly roll size pan. Spread the mixture out evenly on the bottom of the pan and lightly press with your hand to form the crust. You don't need to press it too hard, just lightly. You're gonna pre-bake this for a while alone so it will work itself down enough that it doesn't need to be pressed really heavily. And if you press it too hard, you'll have too cracker-like crust. Doing it just lightly creates a nice, flaky, delicious pastry. Once you've patted it down evenly, place it into a preheated 350 degree oven for 15 minutes. You are going to smell the pastry, it will become so fragrant, and you will know it's ready. While the crust is in the oven, we can start putting the filling together. This is such a simple filling and you only need to use a whisk. You don't even need any hand mixer and so it's so great. I'm even using the same bowl that I used to make the pastry in. It makes cleanup a cinch. Start by cracking four eggs into your bowl. I, of course, always use large eggs. Whisk them together just to kind of break them up a bit. And then add two cups of granulated white sugar, a half cup of flour, a half teaspoon or a heavy pinch of salt, and whisk that all together until it's completely combined. And then last, you're gonna add my favorite part, four cups of finely diced rhubarb. There are many different types of rhubarb out there. Maybe you grow your own, maybe you go to a farmer's market and buy it, and don't worry about what type you're buying. It's all delicious. Some are a little bit more tart, some are a little bit more sweet, but they all work perfectly in this recipe. Once you've completed this, your crust should just be about ready. I'm ready to pull mine out of the oven. If you want to make the crust ahead a little bit and let it cool, you can, or you can use it right away like I am. Onto this prepared crust, I'm just going to pour the filling. Try to evenly spread out the rhubarb as it kind of clumps, as you can see, and is a little bit harder. The liquid of the custard spreads out evenly, but just make sure the rhubarb gets to all the edges and then place this right back in the 350 degree oven for about 40 to 50 minutes. You wanna make sure the center is set and the edges are lightly golden. Once the bars are baked, you wanna let them cool completely in the pan. Sometimes the center can still be a little gooey when it pulls out and it will finish baking as it's cooling down. So make sure to let them cool at least for one to two hours. To me, they're amazing when they're slightly chilled or at room temperature. They're great for dessert or just an afternoon snack. These are your, going to be your favorite go-to rhubarb bar. Thanks for watching this video. To see more videos that you might enjoy, click over here. 
or click down here and subscribe to our channel to see all the great new videos we come out with each week. Can't wait to see you again.